Today I'm going to be covering three altcoin picks that I believe can outperform the market during the month of February. Now, those who have been watching the channel for a while will know that this is part of a monthly series. So first of all, we will review the performance of last month's picks and then we'll move into the free coins for the month ahead. Now, if you do enjoy the video, please do drop a like, subscribe to the channel, but without wasting any more time, Let's get into it. So the first pick in last month's video was Chainlink. And the reason behind this was that we felt it could be due another leg up after the initial impulse at the end of last year, we seen some sideways price action and we felt like we could continue to see that next leg. But unfortunately, it was a little bit disappointing. So from the time of recording last month's video, we seen it peak after that at around a 23% gain, currently sat at around a 10% gain. So although still in profit, not the most exciting coin. Next on the list was Inspect. And this was a real good mover for us in last month's video. So if you've been following my Twitter or on YouTube recently, you would have seen a four-step guide to new coins that come onto the market and how to potentially play them. And this one worked out extremely well because from the time of recording, we've seen a pump of around 112%, so over a 2x return. But now, of course, we've seen price come all the way back down and he's only at around a 12% gain. So it didn't stay up there long, but there was an opportunity to make some money. And it is very typical that we see this kind of behavior with new coins. And last but not least was Tia or Celestia. And it was a very simple theory behind this one. It was basically that we don't want to fade strength. If a coin is showing strength, we don't want to be on the other side of it and we want to ride it for as long as possible. Now, this worked out pretty well because at the peak from the recording of last month's video, we seen Tia move around 43% and currently still holding well at around the 15 to 17% area. So again, not mind blowing returns, but very, very steady for a coin that felt like low risk due to the strength it was showing. So now we'll move on to the free picks for Feb. But before I do that, I have to make two apologies. Number one, there is roadworks going on outside of my house. There's not a lot I can do about this, so apologies for any background noise. And two, I did wake up with man flu-like symptoms this morning. So if I'm sniffling and being annoying, apologies for that, you'll have to excuse me. Uh, I'll try my best to not annoy you throughout this video. So with that out of the way, Let's move on to coin number one. And this is actually going to be injective. Now, we'll move on to the chart in a moment, but a lot of people have been very quiet around injective recently. We've seen a big burst onto the scene in December, especially around the ecosystem and airdrops and so on. But one thing I think could spark some good price action for injective in itself is actually how the ecosystem is starting to make big moves. And this starts with Hydro. So what we're looking at here is one of the biggest applications within the injective ecosystem. Now, before yesterday's launch of Hydro's main net, the injective TVL was at around 38 million according to DeFi Llama. And as we can see on the website here, Hydro has come straight in with a 77 million TVL within the space of 24 hours. So pretty much doubling the existing TVL of the whole injective ecosystem. So I think this could potentially spark a lot of, well, spark an injective season because it's going to put a lot of eyes on the ecosystem. Now, when we look at the chart here, we can see that pretty much since the big impulsive move in, in December, price peaked Christmas Eve around $45. And from then, we've started to see this pennant form. And, you know, it's not necessarily bearish, but price cooled off, which is to be expected. It can't just go up only forever. So in terms of what I'm looking for now is of course a breakout of this pennant, but I need confluence with horizontal levels. So first of all, I'm expecting a bounce here. I'd like to see a bounce at around the $32 level. And then from there, we could potentially see price action like this where we get above maybe $38, $39. And if we see that with good volume, good strength, then we could flip that level into support and make a move up towards the highs. Now, 
One thing we have to keep in mind is that Bitcoin is going to dictate what happens to all of altcoins, not just injective. So if the market generally looks bearish, it's very hard to put a strong argument that injective can outperform when everything else is nuking. So that's something to keep in mind, not just with injective, but all coins. And if you want to be super conservative, you may watch and see how this kind of price action plays out if it does. And just wait, be more conservative, wait for price to flip the highs at, you know, 43, 44, $45, so something like this. Because then you're going into price discovery and, you know, the FOMO can very easily kick in when we see that price action. So there's two entries there, really, depending on how aggressive you want to be. Now, of course, if we see price just nuke and fall behind here, not just below the pennant, but this most recent low like that then this is a bad sign and then that's kind of a, a huge invalidation level we can basically then sit back and try and buy the dip it's a completely different structure of course we're not seeing strength it's not a great pick for feb anymore but for long-term buyers for people looking to dollar cost average it could offer a amazing entry so that would be the invalidation two entries on the cards but overall right now i think the injective chart is shaping up very nicely so number two on the list is jupiter exchange now this only launched yesterday so i don't want you to run away and go and ape into a position it's very volatile at the minute people got their airdrops some of them are selling, some of them are loading up on bags, and the volatility is just all over the place at the moment. So what we're going to do now is we can see on the Jupiter chart, there's not a lot of price action to work with. It can be very difficult to use this data to make any real decisions, but we're going to have a look at a couple of different airdrops of recent big airdrops and see how they performed after their launch. So the two examples we're going to look at are Manta and Celestia. But we'll start with Celestia because that launched in November. We're going to flick onto the 12 hour time frame and just look at the general trend since that initial launch. We can see here that for around 10 days or so, price didn't really do much. You know, we've seen a bit of a range around the $2, $2.50 area. But then when it did finally break out, you know, it was up only from there. And a big part of this, of course, was the market conditions being slightly more favorable during the end of last year. So we do have to take that into consideration. However, if we look at Mansa, and of course, this is a lot more recent, and we'll drop it to the one hour time frame. But generally speaking, we can see, of course, it hasn't made a Celestia-like move yet. It hasn't run from $2 to $18 or whatever it was, but it has undeniably started an uptrend after the launch. It was very slow to start and then things really got going. So when we're looking at picks for Feb, it's just looking for an opportunity to, to make money throughout the month of Feb, so more short-term trades. That's the idea of this series. So although it may be a good long-term hold, that's completely your decision. That's not what this video is all about. So if we go back to Jupiter now, and we'll go back to the 30-minute chart, we can see that obviously since the launch, people have decided to dump their bags, dump their airdrop, and we've seen price drop as low as around 55 cent. Now, if we look at them previous charts, we can see a little bit of range in price action for a few days, if not a week or two, before we then start to see some upside. So it's about time in the entry here, if, and we'll keep a close eye on this on Twitter, if you're not following, do so. But we're going to be looking at a potential range between around 55 cent and maybe 62, 60, that kind of area, depending on if this was just a wick to fake above the more recent high here. But if we see something like this, and again, it's very vague for now, we need more price action, but price sideways, chopping along here, if we maybe get a fake out, we'll be watching for that, coming above, and ultimately the key entry, the safe entry for me here, would be then a break above this area so this kind of price action would be very telling for if we are to see at least a mini rally to take some profit on so that's the kind of price action i would be looking for over the next maybe five to seven days of course things will be a lot more clear as we get more price action to work with but it's definitely one to keep on the radar 
And before we move on to the last coin, I just thought I'd mention that Sunday's video is going to be a Jupiter price prediction video. So although this is focused on the short term, that will be a more long term video looking at the potential of Jupiter going into this bull cycle into 2025 and how high I believe it can go. So make sure you subscribe for that, put the notifications on, you won't want to miss it. And last but not least on the list is Fusionist, otherwise known as Ticker Ace. Now, we mentioned a four-step guide a little bit earlier in this video, so we're going to run through a couple of the recent examples, if you're not familiar with this, and then move on to the ACE chart. So first of all here, we have TokenFi, which is a coin that launched in early November, and the four-step is very simple. We have the initial sell-off, we have the ranging at the lower prices, we have a curve that starts, and when we see a breakout, we usually get a big move. So although price has dropped a lot since then, that is the move we are trying to play. Then, as mentioned with Inspect being another example of this four-step move, we have the initial sell-off, we've got the ranging, we've got the curve. Now, of course, here we can see a little bit of, you know, price messing around, around the level, some fake outs below and whatnot. One thing to keep in mind here is it is never going to play out exactly the same. It's never going to play out perfectly. It's about catching the bulk of the move. It's as simple as that. Because eventually, you know, if people would have paper handed here, they would have missed the initial move. So it's just about keeping an eye on that general structure. And then, of course, we got the rally. And since then, the drop off again. So now when we look at Ace... And again, of course, November, December, when Token did this, very different uh, market conditions compared to now. But what we can see here is we've seen the initial sell-off for Ace. We've seen the range start to form. And then the curve looked like it was going to get going. But we've dropped now into another smaller range here. And I'll just zoom in so we can take a look at this in more detail. So what I'm actually looking for now with Ace is a breakout, of course, of this mini range on lower time frames. So something like this is going to be, again, when we talk about aggressive entries, this would be it for me. Waiting for the breakout of this range and then running it to the range highs here, the more significant range highs at around 1070. Now, again, if you want to be more conservative, the play would be waiting for this and making your entry here. Now... When that comes, if that comes, that's when I'd expect a bigger move, potentially to the more recent highs at around $16, and offer a very good return in the short term at least. Now, if we were to see a breakdown of this range, this pretty much invalidates the idea for me. It's not really good to see price you know, go sideways for some time and then eventually break down. Of course, there can be fake outs, but we don't want to gamble on trying to get the lower price because we're looking at the structure of the chart. We want to see this. We want to see this. So this wouldn't be a great sign. And then it's kind of off the cards, at least for the short term. But if we were to drop all the way back down here, of course, people may be interested in loading up them long term bags at the range lows, a good price at 730, 740, potentially for people who are holding long term. But that doesn't really coincide with the idea that we've got here with that typical four step rally on new altcoins. So. Yep, they are to be looked at, they are to be considered for some people, but when we're focusing on this chart here, we're looking for breakouts, we're looking for strength. First of all, at the range, the miniature range highs here at seven at 975, and then the bigger range breakout at 1070. So that's exactly what I'm looking at for a higher move up. So that is all for today's video. Hopefully it was useful for you guys. Again, next month we'll take three more picks going into March and we'll, we will review how these coins have performed during the month of Feb. Now, if it was useful, please do drop a like, subscribe to the channel, comment and let me know what content you want to see more of in the future. But in the meantime, please do trade safe, invest safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.